Hello everyone and welcome to my beautiful Halloween. So we're going to be creating this fantasy owl look. This is my take on a bronzy fantasy owl, very avant-garde and glittery for those who want to look magical for Halloween. So without further ado, let's jump right into the tutorial. I'm first going to prime my skin and I'm also going to prime my neck and chest. Using a washable glue stick, I'm going to glue back my brows and conceal them with a full coverage concealer. With the Dewy Finish Foundation, I'm going to be airbrushing my foundation on. You can apply a full base of foundation and concealer of your choice. Using a translucent powder, I'm going to set my entire face. After it's set, I'm going to let that bake for a few minutes and then dust all the powder away. With the medium shade of contouring powder, I'm going to start shaping my face. So I'm going to contour the hollows of the cheeks, the jawline, and also my temples. Using a matte highlighting powder, I'm going to add some brightness right underneath the contour. Using a bright orange blush, I'm going to blend into the top of my cheeks. Highlight the cheeks in a C shape using a gold highlighter. With a champagne highlighter, highlight the center of the face. So now I'm going to be blending a warm brown eyeshadow into my crease and blending up into my temples. With a light orange shadow, blend into the brow bone and under the corner of the eyes. Here I'm blending a dark brown into the crease to enhance the sharpness of the look, and I also applied more of the dark brown onto the brow bone, extending into a nose contour, just to give that owl look. With a bit of black shadow, deepen the dark brown color. Apply a copper eyeshadow to the inner eyelid. Then apply a yellow metallic gold shadow to the center of the lid and also the inner corners of the eyes. Picking up a dark brown shadow, I'm going to start to create a wing under the lower lash line. Here I'm using a black liquid liner to darken the lower wing and I'm also going to add a wing liner to this look. Here I'm filling in the waterline and lower lash line with a white smudgy eyeliner and I'm just blending that out with a brush. I'm now going to blend a dark brown eyeshadow onto the lower wing to really smoke it out. With the white face powder, I'm creating a bright patch of white under the eyes because with most owls, they do have this white, kind of bright feathering underneath their eyes. Using black, white, and brown water activated paints, I'm going to start creating some lines that look like feathers along the lower wing. With the black paint, I'm using the back of my brush to create some dots. Then filling in the black dots with a smaller white dot. Lastly, I'm adding some white and also some black dots around the lower wing. Using some reddish brown lashes, I'm going to cut them in half and place them along the lower wing. And I also use a black shadow just to blend the lash line in. Now for the fun part, which is my favorite part, I'm going to add some craft feathers to the look. Using face and body adhesive, I'm just going to stick these feathers around the eyes and you can add as little or as much feathers as you want. You can also cut the feathers to fit your face perfectly. I'm going to apply some chunky gold glitter paste over the feathers to conceal the base of where the feathers meet the shadow, and it also just looks really pretty. Now pop on some dramatic false lashes. For lips, I'm applying a bronzy chocolate liquid lipstick. 
Now I'm gonna start to airbrush my chest and I'm using a dark brown airbrush paint and I'm gonna start to ombre down my chest with a mustard yellow airbrush paint. Using a translucent powder, I'm going to set in that airbrush paint so we can draw on top. With the brown eyeshadow, I'm gonna start mapping out the feathers on the neck. The shape doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna be shading the feathers in next. Using a darker brown shadow, shade under where the feathers overlap each other. If something is laying over top of something else, there's always a shadow cast, so add in that darkness beneath the feathers. With the black eyeshadow, deepen up some of the feathers to make the neck look three-dimensional. You just need a touch of black added to those deep browns to get a more popping effect. I'm now just adding in some black airbrush paint to the very top of my neck to darken the feathers and create a darker shadow around the neck and the shoulders. So this owl needs to glisten in the moonlight, so I'm going to add some gold glitter and I'm adhering it to my chest using primer water. With the black shadow, I'm going to add some darker spots on the feathers with a pretty random placement just to deepen everything. Pop in some colorful contacts if you have them, and then I'm popping on a wig. I went with this black and red ombre, and to fill in my hairline, I'm using a black eyeshadow. With the feathers that we use for the eyes, I'm going to apply some of these into the top of the wig. Lock everything in using a setting spray. Here I'm airbrushing my fingertips brown and then adding gold glitter heavily over the top. This is the final fantasy owl look. If you love this look, be sure to thumbs this video up and smash the subscribe button for more videos. Thank you all for tuning in to my beautiful Halloween and I'll see you next time.